Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to take a look at how to switch between your integrated graphics card and your dedicated graphics card on your gaming system when playing Minecraft Java version. I am running the latest version of Minecraft Java Edition, this is version 1.21.4. I am using the NeoForge mod loader and I am using the CurseForge game launcher to play this. So as you guys can see on the top left corner there it does say Minecraft NeoForge 1.21.4. Now this method should help you guys out if you guys are playing on a gaming laptop for example. Chances are that you might have a dedicated graphics card and in my case I do have the RTX 2050 graphics card and I also have the Intel chips. So what that means is that I've got two graphics cards. One of them is the internal Intel graphics card and the other one is the dedicated RTX NVIDIA 2050 graphics card. So for those of you who want to get high FPS and make use of your dedicated graphics card then this method should help you out now as you guys can see on the top left corner there it is showing an fps counter at the moment i am getting close to 50 fps as you guys can see on the top left corner there if i do go ahead and press the f3 key on my keyboard as you guys can see in the top right corner there it does say under the display section that it is using the intel uhd graphics so for those of you who are getting low fps that that is the first thing i would recommend that you guys do press the f3 key and have a look at what kind of graphics card it is using from your laptop or gaming system if I go into the mod section, you guys can see that I am using the latest version of Sodium. Now, for those of you who don't know, Sodium is a performance mod and it does help you get higher FPS in your Minecraft Java game. If I go into my video settings, you guys can see that VSync has been turned off and I have set the max frame rate slider to the maximum value there. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at how to switch from the integrated graphics card option into using the dedicated graphics card option on Minecraft Java Edition. This is version 1.21.4 and as I mentioned earlier, this should work on multiple versions of Minecraft Java Edition. So if you are running versions 1.20, 1.19, 1 1.18 or anything lower, then this should work for you as well. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go into our NVIDIA control panel. So if I go into my taskbar, click this little arrow here that says show hidden icons. And then if I right click on the NVIDIA icon, so if you guys don't already have it, make sure that you have installed the NVIDIA software on your system. I am running the RTX 2050 graphics card, as I mentioned earlier. So if you guys are running a NVIDIA graphics card, you should have this in your taskbar. Unfortunately, I don't have a AMD laptop to test this with. So for those of you who are running laptops with the AMD software, do let me know in the comment section below if something similar is available for you as well. So if we right click on the NVIDIA settings icon there and then click on the NVIDIA control panel, let's just wait for that to now load up and then we can go ahead and make our selection in here. Now we need to click on manage 3D settings. The easiest option to do and to use is to select this drop down here, which says preferred graphics processor, and then select the high performance NVIDIA processor. Now, some of you might not want to do this and you don't want to override this for every single piece of software on your system. So we are actually going to go ahead and add Minecraft individually in the program settings over here. And then we're going to select the NVIDIA graphics processor for it. So click on program settings and then you want to click on add. Now on this list here, we need to actually find Minecraft. If you are using the Java version of Minecraft, you will notice that it doesn't actually show up here as Minecraft Java edition. It does however show up as OpenJDK platform binary. So if I click on this and if I leave my mouse cursor highlighting this you can see on the location section here it does have the curseforge mentioned on here and as i mentioned earlier i am using the curseforge launcher and it does have a pathway now if you don't have open jdk platform library you can just click on browse i'm just going to leave my mouse hovered over here so you guys can make a note of the installation directory to locate that java w.exe file which you have to find and then add it in once you have added that file in it should appear on this list so as you guys can see i do have this open JDK platform binary on here and I am going to select this and click on the add selected program. I can now go ahead and select the option for the preferred graphics processor. So I'm going to click on this drop down here and now I'm going to select high performance NVIDIA processor. I'm then going to click on apply. 
once it has applied that apply button will disappear we can then go ahead and close this down and if we go back into our game it won't actually change it at the moment so if i press f3 on my keyboard you guys can see on the top right middle section there it does say intel uhd graphics so we do actually need to restart our minecraft java game so i'm just going to quickly restart my minecraft java edition game and then i'll be right back all right, so we have loaded back into the game after selecting the NVIDIA GeForce graphics option for our Minecraft Java game. And as you guys can see on the top left corner there, my FPS counter is showing a much higher FPS compared to before, where I was getting 50 FPS on the Intel UHD graphics, but now on the NVIDIA RTX 2050 graphics card, I am getting close to 350 fps as you guys can see on the top left corner there of my screen if i press the f3 button now you guys can see it does say in the display section on the top right middle section there it says display 1920 by 1009 nvidia corporation and it is using the nvidia geforce rtx 2050 it does mention it there on the middle section as you guys can see so if you guys are running a gaming laptop with a, a dedicated graphics card and it does have an integrated graphics card as well Hopefully this method should help you out. I did notice this when I started playing on the latest version of Minecraft using the Neo Forge mod loader. I did not have this issue when I was using the Fabric or Forge mod loader on the latest version of Minecraft. However, the Neo Forge version does seem to have this issue at the moment. So hopefully this video has helped you guys out. If you do have any comments or queries about how to switch between your integrated graphics card and your dedicated graphics card on your gaming laptop or your gaming PC for Minecraft Java Edition on versions such as 1.21, 1.4 or even the future versions such as version 1.22 or later then do leave a comment below I will do my best to try and help you guys out. Please also do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.